not sponsored by Cheez-Its. In this video, I'm gonna show you what's up with this 66 Mustang and the 65 Mustang behind it. You shouldn't be looking forward to this, but you should be looking forward to when it's done and it's making 600 wheel horsepower and it's blowing everybody away on the drag strip and on the street. True. With our 60 day program, I can guarantee you we'll turn that into that. <laughs> 30 days. Just with three easy payments of $120,000, we can have something not as nice, but you'll be giving me all your money. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Today I'm gonna to be showing you Parker and Ashley's new 66 Mustang project and Parker's former 65 Mustang project. They've both done a ton of stuff to both of these cars. Parker's done a ton of stuff to the 66 Mustang. Um, it still needs a little bit of love to 65. get it worthy and on the road. <laughs> the 65 Mustang, whatever it is. They're making fun of me because I can't keep it straight. The 66 Mustang, there's so many uh, Mustangs and they all need work. So what we've been up to today is we've been just kind of cleaning up a lot of the super tedious, annoying cleanup stuff when it comes to like installing a Mustang 2 kit like we have here, is you have a bunch of motor mounts and things like that that are spot welded to the frame. And in order to fit like a cross member like this and um, strengthen the frame for the cross member, you have to get all that stuff out of the way. So what, this is gonna go? Yeah, it's gonna go between each frame rail. Something like that. Something like that? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. We haven't done, we haven't done this yet. So I'm not sick. sure where exactly in here. Yeah. So yeah, I have some measurements because this is a used kit that I bought off of a friend that cut it out of an old car. Looks so, like after your box, it'll probably fit okay. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah. I think we'll get pretty lucky with this. But the point of doing like a Mustang 2 like this is it one gives you a lot of room for motors that were, that would not fit with the shock towers or make it easier to fit with the shock towers and also upgrade it from a steering box to a rack and pinion and drops the suspension geometry a little bit low and lets you have modern spindles and lets you have bigger brakes and all that fun stuff that you should do when so you're you making have better like steering better suspension better suspension geometry coilovers and a lot more room to fit turbos and or long tubes and or cut out and or anything else like that. Yeah, anything right? fun, anything wild that your little heart might desire when you're building something cool like this. So the goal is gonna be to get the motor as close to the firewall as possible, right? Yeah. As far back as possible, leave lots of room for a fat radiator setup. Um, hopefully something at least as big as what you have in your car, right? Yeah, for sure. And I'm pretty confident um, what we did, we also cut out the factory core support and that will give us a little bit more adjustment with like things like an intercooler and radiator so we can kind of play with it. One of the things that are pretty known on these cars, you're kind of limited to what radiators you can run because of the the stock core support. So that was another cool thing that we got done already with this car. Is yeah, we cut all that, room. yeah, cut all that factory crap out. So like I said, T code, we don't care. So we're just gonna cut it all up, make sure it work. So today what we've been working on in this thing is installing the Mustang two suspension. To do that, we've had to cut out the strut towers. Parker and Ashley actually did that um, over the past couple of weeks, the strut towers, the motor mounts, a ton of stuff. We cut some more brackets and stuff off of this frame rail. Parker and Ashley are probably going to start zapping this together. They're gonna to have to make a um, frame rail reinforcement to go over this. Should be sick. When that Mustang 2 suspension is done, kind of like we showed you, this cross member is gonna sit right between the frame rails here. And all of the suspension hardware is gonna be supported from it. There's so much suspension stuff, parts for this car here, coilovers, control arms, Pretty much everything to put this car together aside from the drivetrain they've already got figured out. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Smack that smile back. Jesus. Thanks for watching everybody. There is so much more gonna happen with both of these projects. I have a bunch more stuff I'm doing with my T-Bird project. Um, my Caprice Big Orca project has a bunch more stuff coming. Can't wait to share all of that stuff with you. If you wanna see that stuff, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below, tell us what we should do with this thing. Tell us what we're doing wrong. Tell us what we can do better. Tell me how I can make these videos better and what cars you want to see more of. Tell me what project I should get next. Thanks for watching.